Hey everybody, it's Holly from Baby Gizmo and welcome back to our channel. Now today, it's time for another room tour. A lot of you know we moved into a brand new house quite a few months ago and you've been waiting for the full house tour and it's coming, I promise. It just takes a lot of time and a lot of work to get a full house situated so that we can take you room by room and show you the entire house. But today, I'm gonna give you an in-depth look at one of our most commented about rooms and that is our kitchen. And before we get started, I wanna thank blinds.com for sponsoring this video and we will talk more about them later in the video when we head to the windows. Now the kitchen, like I said, we get the most comments about our kitchen. People wanna know the colors, what we chose, because we did build this house, so we made all the choices ourselves. So today I'm gonna to take you through our entire kitchen and in our little breakfast room and show you all of the choices we made, tell you why, and I'm gonna put links in the description below of all the things I'm talking about, if I can have a link. If not, I'm gonna give you the color or the name of the product. So let's get started. So this portion of the kitchen is what I call the breakfast nook. It's where the kitchen table is, it's where we eat, and it's where the view is. That's right, we have the most gorgeous view off our kitchen of the backwoods, and I absolutely love it, especially this time of year when the trees have all grown in. And so when we designed this kitchen, I wanted something that was open and bright and happy. And that's also why I added the yellow on the windows to make it extra happy, but we'll get to that in a second. Um, so it's all about the view in the breakfast nook. So as you can see, you can see out to the backwoods. There's also gonna be a pool out there very soon which we will keep you updated on not finished yet but it's in the works so let's start with the kitchen table now this kitchen table it's from pottery barn it's the banks extending table in gray wash and also the chairs I got from home goods they're just blueprint chairs that I absolutely fell in love with I can't tell you what where to get them I don't know what brand they are I just know that I picked them up at home goods one day so you know home goods you, you have to grab it when you see it and the gold bowl on the table, that is also from Home Goods. So let's go ahead and head back to those windows. I'll show you the view, and then we'll talk a little bit about what we did for window coverings. Okay, so these are our kitchen windows, and these windows are my everything because it is the gateway to my view outside. It lets all the light in. So when I was looking at window coverings, I wanted it to stay in line with my goals for my kitchen, which is allowing it to be light and bright, but also have privacy at night. And I think we did fantastic. We worked with the designer at blinds.com to come up with a two-part solution for these windows. And I also wanted to add color. You know I love gray, but I definitely wanted to add a pop of color here and there in the house. And I thought these kitchen windows were perfect for that. So that's why we added the yellow. So the first part of the window coverings are the Flines.com Solar Roller Shades. I have to say these are my favorite window coverings in the entire house. Why? Because they are motorized. <laughs> With this little remote, they go up and down all at the same time. Watch this. I absolutely love that. We can put them down at night. They still allow a lot of light to come in, but they give us the privacy at night, and I think they look fantastic. Now, the color on these solar roller shades is Stria 5% Gray Mist. I will put a link in the description below, but like I said, they are my favorite. You can stop them wherever you want. You can have them go all the way down. I love them. We have these also on the patio doors that go out to the patio, but we didn't motorize those just because we opened that door a lot. So that is the step number one with the solar roller shades. I absolutely love these. I don't know why, just the motorized portion that I don't have to go and do the chain for each one. Now, if I didn't want to use this, and this is going, this is um, hanging right next to them behind the curtain, if I didn't want to use this, there is a, a little string that you tap once and it goes up, it's still motorized. I absolutely love these. Now the second part of the window coverings for the kitchen are drapes. I really wanted drapes. I love drapes and I, this is where I was gonna add the color in the room. And these drapes, these are blinds.com drapes in Henning Butter. I love this color. It is a yellow kind of goldish color and it has a little bit of dots, which you probably can't see until you're really up close, but I absolutely love the color that it brings to my kitchen. And we also did a cornice, which is the piece above the windows and henning butter to match as well. Now, the same ones, the same drapes, we made little cornices above the solar roller shades on the doors as well, just to kind of bring it all together. But I love what we did with these windows. Like I said, it still allows tons of light to come in. I still get my view, but I can put down the solar roller shades in the evening. So for privacy reasons, 
I just love them, I'm telling you. And if you can motorize your solar roller shades, I highly recommend you do it because then you don't have to mess with them individually. So let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the kitchen. Now, before we get on to the rest of the kitchen, I just wanted to show you this area. It's kind of an extra set of cabinets and countertop. Plenty of space in this kitchen, plenty of ca cabinet space as well. Now I added a bowl of lemons that I got at Kirkland's just to add another pop of yellow. Obviously I'm really into yellow for kitchens right now. And um, just pretty much keep this counter, I try to keep this counter clean. It's not usually this clean, but I cleaned it up for you guys. And then here's one of our cameras from our Vivint home security system, just so that we can kind of see the whole area. That's just one of them. There's more. I'm not gonna give away where the rest of them are, but that's one of our security cameras from from Vivint. So let's go ahead into the rest of the kitchen. So we are back in the main area of the kitchen. Let's talk about the elephant in the room, which is this ginormous island. I love this island. It's so big that they had to cut the quartz in three pieces because of the size of the island. Now, it gives us plenty of space. The kids do try to clutter it up with books and backpacks and cups and everything else, but I try to keep it clean. I did clean it for you guys. Um, I went with a quartz instead of a granite because I wanted a really, really light countertop so that I could obviously keep the light bright of the kitchen, but I also wanted to see when it was dirty. If you Sometimes when you get granite that's really dark, you can't see when it's dirty until you feel it. This one I know right away when it needs to be wiped down, which I think is a good thing for me. Um, so yeah, so this is the island. On the other side of the island, there are five stools from Crate and Barrel. We had those in our old house. We loved them. We love that it brings kind of that stainless steel look. It's a place where the kids eat breakfast and quick meals or maybe to do their homework. Now, the sink, this is our sink. It is in our island. I did it on purpose because I wanted to face out as I did dishes. There's a TV over there if people are talking. I didn't want my back to everybody when I was cleaning up so I love that it's located in the island here's also a tip if you get an island this big I didn't know this I wish I did now I have one electrical outlet on this side but there are no other electrical outlets on the island and I wish I had had one on the other side for things like bringing the mixer over or the blender I just I think it would be a little bit more handy if I had two outlets so that is a tip for you guys if you build a big island two outlets one on each side Okay, so let's talk about the flooring in the kitchen. Now this flooring, it is called Palmetto Road, is the brand. It is Mountain Ridge Boone is the color. Now I'm not gonna talk a lot about it because I'm not sure I'm in love with it yet. Um, I'm gonna see how it wears. I'm not sure it's wearing really well with scratches and kids and things like that. It looks really good when it's really clean, but I'm gonna kinda hold my opinion on the floor until later. We will give an update on that. Now let's head over to the range. Now this is my stove, I love it. I upgraded it to the GE Monogram 36 inch dual range. It has four gas burners and a drill in the center. There is a stainless steel part that goes over it like a lid. I was too nervous with the kids. I didn't want them to scratch it. I didn't want to set pots on it. I didn't want to scratch it. So I removed it and we're just gonna leave it like this for a while. Now I really wanted a double oven, but I didn't want to pay for the upgraded 48 inch oven. So what I did is I got the 36 and then over on the other side of the kitchen where the microwave is, I had them put the second oven, which is gonna be great for holidays and um, when I'm baking and things like that. So this is my oven and range. Now let's talk about the cabinets. The cabinets are well-born cabinets. The perimeter of the kitchen is called Glacier. It's a white. And then I made the island willow gray. I wanted the two-tone look just for a little fun. Now my tip for cabinets is on the bottom cabinets, don't only do the open like cabinets like that. Make sure you add some drawers. I know it's a little extra charge, but drawers are so great for things like pots and pans and lids and Tupperware. I love that I added some drawers. I added actually four drawers and then the rest are cabinets at the bottom. Now another must have in my kitchen is the trash cabinet. That's right, this is a cabinet that conceals two trash cans, one for regular trash, one for recyclables. I hate seeing a trash can out in a kitchen, so I think this one is perfect. So let's head over to the refrigerator. Right next to the refrigerator is the GE Profile microwave and second oven. Now this is the refrigerator. This is the Samsung four door flex refrigerator. And we've had it for a few months so I can give you a good feedback on this. I like it. I know, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it but I like it a lot. Um, it is four doors so I have the refrigerator portion up here and then I have two freezers down here. But the great thing about it and what makes it flex is the flex zone. This freezer right here can actually be a refrigerator. You can turn it on as a refrigerator, have three refrigerators and one freezer. 
which I'm gonna do when I get a garage freezer that I can store all of the things from Costco. But for right now, I have them both as freezers and then I have the top ones as refrigerator. Now the only thing I don't like about the four door flex is that it says it's fingerprint resistant. I'm not sure what fingerprints <laughs> they're talking about because I wipe this refrigerator every single day. I don't know if my kids are extra messy, but they're always fingerprints all over it. So that's the only thing that I don't think holds true to this refrigerator, but so far so good. Everything has worked on it. The ice maker has worked and the definitely the two, the four zones. Now the last thing I wanna show you is the pantry. It is a small walk-in pantry, but it gives us plenty of room for all of our food. I have it organized pretty well. Now if the family would just leave it that way and stop throwing things on the shelves, it'd be even better. But as of right now, it's organized and looking fantastic so that you can see exactly what's in here as soon as you open the door. So there you go guys, that is our kitchen. The only thing I didn't tell you are these two fantastic lights above the island. We got them from the builder. We ordered them with the builder, so I don't know what the name of them are, but I think they look really cool. So that is it guys. I'm really happy that we made this its own video because if we didn't, and I went into all those details in the home tour, it would have been really long. So if you have any questions or comments about this video, head over to our YouTube community and leave a comment over there, or you can head over to our Baby Gizmo Instagram and leave a comment over there. And that's it guys. I promise you the full house tour is coming. We're also gonna do a tour of our theater room, but that's not ready yet either. So stay tuned, it will be coming shortly. And don't forget to thumbs up this video and please subscribe to our YouTube channel and subscribe to the boys YouTube channel, which is Junior Gizmo and Savannah's YouTube channel, which is The Savvy Life. Oh wait, don't forget dad. Dad has his own YouTube channel as well now called Dad Gizmo. So that's it. Thanks to blinds.com for sponsoring this video. We will see you in the next video. Bye guys.